One of the recent additions to ChatGPT has been a new custom instructions feature. This allows you, to some extent at least, to customize ChatGPT's responses to you by creating a set of instructions that apply to all of your chats. So in this video, I'm gonna take a look at this feature, how it works, how you set it up, and what we can learn from it that might apply to other AI tool scenarios. So custom instructions allows you to save two different foundations for your ChatGPT prompts that will be added into every chat you have with the system. You get to define what you want ChatGPT to know about you and how you want ChatGPT to respond. On OpenAI's blog announcement for this feature, they give three examples to show you how it works and to show you the different outputs you can get depending on whether you apply the custom instructions or not. So as you can see here for the first one, what we want ChatGPT to know about us is, I work on science education programs for third grade students. And in terms of how you want ChatGPT to respond, when discussing potential solutions for work-related items, present the information in a table format, outlining the pros and cons of each option, allowing for easier comparison and decision-making. Asking ChatGPT what would be three important things to teach about the moon, you can see that with these custom instructions turned on, ChatGPT will apply a table format, giving you the pros and cons. But if you turn custom instructions off and provide the same prompt, you get very different information on the same topic provided in a less accessible format. There are similar examples given for both someone who is writing code, who wants to streamline their responses, and someone shopping for groceries for their family. This feature is currently available in ChatGPT's plans everywhere except the UK and Europe. Thanks for watching. If this content is useful to you, please do hit the like button. And if you want to see more like this in the future, do subscribe to the channel. Also, if content like this would be useful to people in your network, please do consider sharing it there too. Thanks. So to access your custom instructions, you're going to come down to your name or account down here and click on the three dots, and then you're going to go to custom instructions. Um, and from here, you can add in your information about what you want ChatGPT to know about you and how you would like ChatGPT to respond. So here you can see I've put in what would I like ChatGPT to know about me. I am a technology consultant. I specialize in digital transformation for small businesses. And how would I like ChatGPT to respond? Answers should be precise and neutral. Provide answers as short as possible while maintaining useful detail. Where possible, provide answers as a table and provide options. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to say, and I'm going to say, tell me about Microsoft 365. And you can see that immediately my custom instructions have changed how ChatGPT is responding to me as um, it is put in the response in a table and it wouldn't usually do this by default. I can show you that. So I'm going to come back down to custom instructions. I'm going to turn off my custom instructions and I'm going to go ahead and start a new chat and put in the same request. And you can see that this response is considerably longer and isn't structured in a table. So let's try something else. So I've added in here the line, I am a vegetarian. Um, and I'm not gonna give any context on that. I'm not actually a vegetarian, uh, but this is just for um, demonstrative purposes here. So I'm going to save this. I'm gonna start a new chat. Let's try GPT 3.5 this time. So I'm just going to say, tell me some recipes I could try at a dinner party. And very quickly, it provides me with a table. It looks like each of the items that it's provided are vegetarian. So it's taken that into account and uh, it's provided a brief response. So let's just try this again. We're going to come down and we're going to turn off the custom instructions.
And you can see that ChatGPT seems to have um, a reasonable uh, interest in, in vegetarian dishes anyway up here, but you can see that we've got some chicken in here and we don't have a table. So you can see how those custom instructions are um, changing how ChatGPT is responding. So the benefit of having a feature like this is that you can keep things that work for you in how you want ChatGPT to work in your prompt without re-entering that information every time. You have 3,000 characters combined from the two fields to play with, so you can enter a lot of information relatively. But as we've seen before, the power of AI is its context, so you're not going to be able to add highly elaborate contextual information into these fields where any text extends beyond 1500 characters. What you can do is establish the basics, like the example where we wanted to use ChatGPT for food-related research, but wanted it to know that we were vegetarian, so it always kept that in mind. Or perhaps you have a particular writing style you want to generate for, and you can give some examples in those 1500 characters. It seems generally that OpenAI is trying to make ChatGPT easier to continue working with. I've mentioned before that one of my frustrations was that each time you started a new chat, you had to choose the model and features you wanted again. But OpenAI has now fixed that, so if you always want to use GPT-4 with Code Interpreter, then that's what will be turned on. With custom instructions, you don't have to remember to give ChatGPT the basics of what you need each time. These are conveniences, not features that radically alter what the tool is capable of. I've talked before on the channel about the concept of a meta prompt. This is something we've looked at in the context of Microsoft 365 Copilot and how it's one of the key safeguards Microsoft has in place uh, in the stream of information that flows through the Copilot system. So the meta prompt encapsulates whatever it is you're looking for. The custom instructions feature in ChatGPT is kind of like your ability to create a meta prompt. You get to encapsulate your request in a set of instructions you have statically set for your use. This gives you some idea of the type of thing Microsoft might be doing when it talks about establishing a meta prompt for its copilot tools. Although for Microsoft, it's doing it on an organization basis or a Microsoft wide basis, as opposed to for each user is my understanding so far. We should also remember that there are different approaches to doing similar elsewhere too. In Bing Chat, we don't have the ability to set custom instructions, but we do have three different options when it comes to the different response we want. If you want a response that's more creative or more precise, you can choose that. As we continue to await the launch of Microsoft 365 Copilot, and new tools have come online like Claude, OpenAI has to keep up and keep relevant with ChatGPT. The addition of Code Interpreter for ChatGPT Plus users came along at much the same time as the rollout of the beta of Claude, which gave file upload capabilities. See the link to this video down below if you want to know more about that. And with custom instructions, this is perhaps ChatGPT's way of giving you the ability to provide contextual information that will just be inherent in the system, like in Microsoft 365 Copilot in the future. Is this feature useful? Undoubtedly. Can it make using ChatGPT quicker? Certainly. But is it the game changer that I saw several outlets describing it as? Definitely not. It's clear that OpenAI wants to continue to innovate in how ChatGPT works, and so we should be excited for how this and other tools will develop in the future. The key is that the more they know of you, the better service they can provide. And this will likely be a tension or friction in months or years to come as we improve these services at the cost of personal privacy. More on this in the future. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this was useful to you. And until the next one, bye bye.